and welcome to today's video on managing user account in Windows Server 2016 at Tree. This is the second part of this video series and in this video we will see how we can rename Active user account, how we can delete a user account and how to move user account from one location to another location. First of all we will see how to rename an Active Directory domain user account. Renaming a user account is convenient when an employee is replaced by another employee. A user account is not simply a name and password. It is also a set of permission and group membership and therefore when you rename a user account verify all the user's object attributes as well. So as you can see right now we have a user Maria Nelson. Let's come back on our Windows 10 computer and let's log in with this user account. Okay so we can log in with this user account Maria Nelson. Let's come back on our Active Domain controller. Let's open a Windows Explorer. Click on the C drive. And let's create a one share folder just for testing. Let's specify the folder name share one. Select property. Click on advanced sharing and select share this folder. Give the permission. Full control. Apply OK. Click on OK. Click on security. Click on advanced. Disable inheritance. Convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. Remove users entry and just add our user Maria. Click on check name, click on OK and allow with a full control. So, user Maria has a full control on this share folder. Click on apply, click on OK and click on close. We just create a share folder named share one with the full control to our user name Maria Nelson. Let's come back on our Windows 10 computer and let's try to access the share folder 192.168.1.201. Okay, so user is able to access the share folder and let's try to create a one uh, file name HR report. Hit enter and so user is able to create a folder. She can rename the folder, that means she has a permission to delete the folder as well. Now we just create a share folder and share with this our user Maria Nelson. Now suppose this user is uh, replaced by another person in the company and now you have told to rename this user account to something else. Now let's rename this user. Select rename and specify the new name. Remember this is the only display name. Hit enter. It will ask us to rename the user, uh, you can specify the first name of user, let's specify Jason, it is Roy and the display name will be Jason Roy. Now we also have to change the user logon name, Jason.r and the user's logon name pre Windows 2000 style is the domain name slash Jason.r. Click on OK and that's it. Now let's come back on a Windows 10 computer and let's log in with the user named Jason.r and let's specify password. You can also reset the password but for a simple demonstration I didn't reset the user's password. Now let's try to access the share folder and share one is accessible. So because we didn't create a new user we just renamed the user and the user's permission and group membership has not changed. You can close and let's sign out from this user Jason Roy, but you can open a command prompt and when you open a command prompt you can see the profile is C users and the name is maria.n because when the first time we log in with this user account on this computer that time the user's login name is maria.n and then we rename this user to Jason Roy and that's why it is window is still using the old user profile it didn't create a new profile for our user Jason Roy. If you click on this PC, C drive and users, you can see the same profile is there. Click on close and let's sign out from the our user Jason Roy. Let's come back on our work directory. Now what if you want to delete a user account? If an employee leaves your organization, we either can rename the account for the employee who is going to replace the employee who left or second option we have is delete the user account. If the employee is being replaced immediately, it is better to rename the user account. 
If the employee role is removed permanently, it is better to remove that account for security purpose. We can disable the user account also. If in near future someone is going to replace the left employee, that time it is recommended to disable the user account. But for demonstration, we are going to delete the user account. And in Active Directory, we have our one user named Sales1 and our Sales Team OU. And you want to delete this user account. So if you want to delete this user account, that time you just have to right click on it and select delete. It is asked for confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete the user named Sales1? Click on yes, yes, if we want to delete the user account. And that's it. So this is pretty simple to delete the user account. Now, what if we want to move a user account from uh, one OU to another OU? If you need to move user account in Active Directory, you can simply drag and drop it in Active Directory users in Computer Console. However, it is more accurate to right click the user account and choose the move command and then select the destination. Let's create a one user named Sales2. Let's specify the login name and let's specify the password click on next and finish now i want to move this user to our sales team ou let's do that click on users right click on our users sales 2 select move and select the destination under asia under india select sales team and click on ok if you click on sales team ou now here we find our user is there named sales 2 so this is the way how you can move a user account Active Directory. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.